We are at 401 North Market Street. I am with Michelle Ott, the Interim Director of the Housing, housing Authority? Housing, housing and Human Services. Housing and Human Services. You guys have quite a big event coming up that you've been doing for a while now. We, we've been doing it for about 20 some years. Um, it's the Harvest of Hope Festival. Yes. So we will be doing our annual turkey distribution, just rebranded it a little bit this year. Yes. Um, so yeah. Okay. And so the way that this works is you guys set up at Nimeo Field in, in Key Stadium in the parking lot. Yep. And I think you have 1,200 turkeys to distribute? 1,200 turkeys plus all of the sides we're also providing. So stuffing, cranberries, um, bread. Wow. Um, vegetables, yes. So we're going to do a bag full of sides plus a 10 to 12 pound turkey yeah, for every not, family. Not too bad. So all people have to do is show that they're a Frederick County resident. Frederick County resident. And that is it. There that is, is it. it. Yeah, so they can uh, drive up. Now, I think you guys do other things in the parking lot as well. We do. So we've got about almost 20 um, partners within Frederick County coming out to set up tables and provide resources and information for the programs that they offer. So folks coming to get get their turkey dinner um, will also get some extras. Um, yeah. You know, find out about some other resources that Frederick County has to offer. Yeah. And what made you guys start this? What was the kind of the driving force all those years ago? Do you know? Um, yeah. So, <laughs> and it started very small. Yeah. Um, you know, back then we were receiving turkeys for for our food bank, which was very small at that time. And then it just kind of grew and grew, and then we ended up making it into a big distribution. Separate from, we were giving out the turkeys during our food bank hours, um, so we ended up just making it a separate event yeah. for folks to come in and, and be able to get um, a turkey dinner. Yeah, and at the county level, like what are you guys finding right now with families? I mean, I know we've seen a lot uh, the the growth of kind of like that Alice household, those families that are working but just not really making ends meet. That's growing in Frederick County and are you guys seeing that as well on your end? We are and so you know Housing and Human Services provides you know all sorts of other services besides food nutrition so we do you know we have a, a federally qualified health center on site we offer permanent supportive housing weatherization services energy assistance um, just a whole gamut of oh, wow. um, services yeah um, kind of to provide a holistic you know view of like you know folks coming in being able to, you know, support all of their their needs. Yeah. Um, but yeah, we're we're definitely seeing an increase in you know people coming in. We're starting to see a little bit more um, elderly people, seniors coming in for services, just because you know rents are going up. But you know they're on fixed incomes, and so their fixed income's not going up to right. match what what right. other costs are going up. So if people need to find out more about the programs that you guys offer, where where should they go? Um, they can go to the City of Frederick website, www.cityoffrederickmd.gov, mm -hmm. um, and look under Housing and Human Services. Okay. Um, we always have a lot of information on our Facebook page um, under social media. So, yeah, or they can just give us a call. Yeah, or go out to the event. Now, the date is November 20th. 20th. Yes. And it's 12 to 4? 12 to 4 p.m. So this year we're doing it a week earlier. Normally we were doing it the Tuesday before Thanksgiving, um, but we wanted to be able to um, have people have a chance to, to thaw, thaw their <laughs> thaw turkeys out. So um, they can eat it. So <laughs> we're doing it the week before, and yeah, um, yeah we'll have 1,200 turkeys plus all the sides, and we'll have some entertainment and some yeah. raffles and a lot of our you know partners be there. Now I'm assuming uh, these were donated. Do we want to shout out? Oh, of course we do. <laughs> of course we do. So Wegmans has been a great partner this year. Um, Housing and Human Services again partnered with the Spanish speaking community of, of Maryland and Wegmans was very generous and donated 1,200 turkeys to us again this year. So yes, we're yeah. very appreciative of that. And then where does all the other food come from, the sides and everything else? We purchase Do, it. Okay, so you purchase. We purchase those. And how can Frederick County, if there is a capability to support what you guys are doing, is, is there ever a need? Do you guys uh, ask for donations or anything like that? We're always asking for donations, food donations, monetary donations. 
um, people can come to our food bank, which is located at 14 East All Saints, and drop off food. We have um, bins located on a loading dock where our food bank is, and people can put food in there. They can host food drives for us over the holidays. Mm. Um, and all that information is on our website, okay. and they can just look under volunteering and donating. Oh, we and love get it. that information. We love it. Well, Michelle, we appreciate you stepping you. up into that executive director role oh, for yeah. the time <laughs> being. And we hope to see you guys out at Nimeo Field at Harry Grove Stadium, November 20th, noon to 4. Frederick County resident is all you have to prove. It needs to be on a, some form of ID. Come out if you need a turkey. If you know of a family that's struggling, please let them know about this event so that they can have a wonderful Thanksgiving as well. Thank you. Thank you Thank for, you all for you having do. us. Thanks for watching.